And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And seeing you the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Yandy Diaz leads the team at OPS. So he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine. Just about ready to roll here and getting the start. Shane McClanahan and Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. And I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. Got him swinging. Really good hard bite to that breaking ball for the strikeout right there. I mean, he was able to bury it down below the zone, and that's throwing. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one. Held in check there. And now the Rays will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Rays, Randy or Rosarena. Boom, that's cheddar, baby. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Here's Manuel Margot. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. In the dirt. Two up, two down. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning. Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Righty to the plate. Swing and a pop up, and that will end the inning. Nothing doing for Tampa. We played an inning, no score. And welcome back. And now, Cedric Mullins. The center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Just missed. That one in for a strike, two and two. Sets him down on strikes. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. Here is James McCann. Sat out last night's game, but back in there today. And strike two. No score here in the second. The next offering misses. Now two and two. Checks a swing. Now an appeal to first. Didn't go. 3-2. Stays alive. Hard hit. Right side. Fires over to first. Two up, two down at the top of the second. So next to hit for Baltimore, Dylan Beavers. Two hits and four at bats during yesterday's ball game. Next pitch is outside. Yeah, there's ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Makes the catch, and that'll do it. And the Orioles leave one. Bottom Come half on. of inning number two. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Wander Franco. That misses, oh. and it's two and one. Two ball, one strike. Yeah, and there's the strike. The 
the 2 2. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Harold Ramirez at the dish. The first base hit. Harold Ramirez. And a pitch. In the dirt, but kept close. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. And the righty deals. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Here comes a pitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Isaac Paredes now. The 1 1. And a swing and a miss there. And a 1 2. And a ball the evens the count. Two balls. Three straight. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Next offering is foul back. Here's a 2 2. Battling here as he fouls it away. And now it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. This one popped up. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that is. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the second baseman, Joseph Ortiz. Swing and a miss. One and two. The pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. Adam Frazier, the next to hit for the Orioles. He's 0 for 1. Liner, base hit. So two down. And now Gunnar Henderson. His first at bat was a strikeout. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains 3-2. and two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. As we go to the last of the third, to the plate now for the Rays is the DH. Josh Lowe. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Just a little too quick on that front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way of making contact with that one. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now at the plate, Taylor Walls. No. Next pitch is inside. Two and one. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. Stayed with the fastball on all three pitches to put him away. Yeah, just straight attacked him. And those locations of the fastball is what really stood out to me, Boog. Started him inside. Really good location. Then he went away for strike two. Going kind of east-west. And then finishes him. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. And a nice inning of... Back here at Tropicana Field, out of the fourth, the and into the box for Baltimore, Ryan Mountcastle. Mountcastle. 
Singy Ryan Mountcastle, a former first round pick by the Orioles in 2015. Here's the thing that gets me though. He owns his own karaoke machine. And can I tell you, I've never done karaoke in my life. You gotta try it sometime. Singy, what's your go-to karaoke song? Yeah, probably some song that'll cost us too much okay. to mention in this broadcast. The pitch. That one down the line. And he takes it himself for the out. Cedric Mullins digs in now. Caught looking his first time up. Ground ball right side. And that one handled. Throw is low and he can't pick it. James McCann in now. Grounded out his first time up. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. Dylan Beavers, the next to hit for the Orioles. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Next pitch is outside. Mullins, the runner at first with two gone. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Next offering is down low. He goes down looking. One left for the... Back now in Tampa Bay, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Manuel Margot. Next pitch has popped up. Ortiz makes the catch, and there's one gone. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle of the base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Run around at first with one gone. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Wander Franco. And he's already singled in this game. Come on, Wander. The one two. That one missing inside. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. The pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch right over the heart of the plate, and I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled no, the string on it, the and the deception gets him the K. Fly ball down the line. Beavers gliding as he moves to his left and makes the play. And that Welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's the designated hitter for the Orioles, Kyle Stowers, to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Out towards left center, Walls ranges to his right, makes the grab on the run, and there's two away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Franco on to first, and that is that. Three up, three down. And welcome back. And now Isaac Paredes, 3-2. Fights it off, he'll see another. The wind of the pitch. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Right-hander kicks, deals. Towards first. Steps on the bag for one. Applies the tag, and they get two. Double play. And now the DH, Josh Lowe. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. 
Next pitch misses, and it's three and two. In the air to left center. Mullins in pursuit. Puts the squeeze on it, and that'll do it. Sixth inning coming. Top six. Here's the third baseman, Adam Frazier. Now fly ball to right center. Margot in pursuit. Hauls it in for the out. Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. 1 and 2 now. On the ground to third. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Next one misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. Tag, but he's in there. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Next pitch, not close, up high. Runners are at the corners, one away. And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. Here's the catcher, James McCann, a guy who's turned himself into a good framer. He was originally drafted by the Tigers, second round pick in 11. Next offering misses, and the count is two and two. And now the lefty cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Come on, Come on. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the sixth inning. Now up for Tampa Bay, Taylor Walls. Check swing, but he went too far. And yeah, the count one and two. Struck him out looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Pickoff throw, and Margot in back side. in. Margot off of first with two away. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the chain. All set for the start of the inning. And into the box for Baltimore, Dylan Beavers. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive. And all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is. And that's what leads to the strikeout. This one in the air center field. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Nothing doing this time around for the O. Back now in Tampa Bay, bottom of the inning, and now Wander Franco. And that is cut on and miss. Now one and two. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Hey. 
Got a good eye there. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Right side, Beavers puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now the Orioles... Keegan Aiken gets the ball now. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these guys better be ready to swing the bats. Makes the grab for the second out. Great swing of the bat right there. Trying to get on is that go-ahead run. He just wasn't able to find a hole. Isaac Paredes next to hit for the Rays. In the dirt. Throw to first. In time, the 2-3 strikeout ends the inning. Back here at Tropicana Field. Now the left fielder, Ryan McKenna. Yanni Chirinos taking over on the mound. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. And now it's even up. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And now it's three and two. A really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings uh, through it. That's Good morning. How's the stream going? Fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. Currently on an eight-game winning streak with the Rays. have only lost one game in July. Did a nice job right there. Here's a one-two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches Oh, to be young, I miss those days. This will get him straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's I remember going up, starting my so day at like 11.30, not waking up till like 11 in the afternoon. 2-2. Two, two. On the ground to the left. Gathers and throws to first. Come on, baseball game. Come on. CNL Perez comes on now. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Swing will open some packs around like 620 again. Field, calls it in, and there's one away. Just that sounds like a great a life. Right there, that front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. I'm going to the fills today at one. Now a pinch hitter coming on for the Rays. Do you ever do franchise? And this is a big at bat in this ball game. In Philly. Kicks and fires. It's the Brewers. And that's strike two. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Struck him out looking. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some Do you play every game or do you send a couple? Staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Next to hit, Taylor Walls. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Understandable. That's why I like quick counts. And that's in the dirt. Randy Rosarena to bat next. We'll see another so many crazy pitch. things happen. It just makes me want to throw the controller. The battle here about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight. I don't understand how early on a hundred mile an hour fastball, but then I'm late on like a freaking seventy-eight mile an hour changeup. And welcome back. Here's Ryan Mountcastle, and a one-one, and a foul ball. 
The one two. And another ball. Bounced up the middle. And it gets by him. Do you hit with the PCI? But we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike. And am I a loser for not? He did such a nice job of holding his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. And there's a strike. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Talk about patience. I have no patience for it. I tried. I practiced. I just cannot do it. I think because I started Strike playing in 06 the and there was no piece of so I just continued to do that for like this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be. Everyone says it's easier play. without the PCI. James when I post McCann, YouTube videos, everyone's always like making fun of me for not using it. Pitch misses, two balls and a strike. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run, stands at first. Ramirez over to second return throw to first double play and that'll do it one hit coming on for the Orioles Dylan Tate 25th appearance of the year for him your attention please the wind in the pitch and that one is lifted in the air Beavers makes the catch 130 I just started such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get 37 I think just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in the three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four Yanni Diaz now here's a two one swing and a foul straight back pretty good pitch there to take a rip at he wants to get his arms extended he likes the ball away right. from him a little bit just not able to square it up one down Winning run on it first. Next offer. Yeah, I'm down. Back. I just got um I just bought online yesterday. And here it comes. Spoiler. I heard you can play like two and two. with multiple people and everyone can play like a different position. That sounds pretty cool. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Caught him looking for the K. I cannot score tonight. Here's Wander Franco. One for three. The next offer. Yeah, I'm misses. definitely down to try that. Now three and one. Sounds cool. I've got a buddy who'd be down too. Really I've always wanted to do the custom ring. that off to the left and we'll do it again I've always wanted to do the custom franchising and you play with like other people online in this ball game moves the go ahead run into Come on here, position. Yeah, so yeah. some pressure pitches coming up in this next AB. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. Here's the thrower. In comes the winning run, and the Rays walk it off for the win. Well, you come into the ninth inning, it's a tied ball game. No one really wants to play extra, so everyone's looking at how we can get this game over with in regulation. Well, they got the run they needed.